Driving the automotive industry is a major policy focus of the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration. And here, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment is meeting with stakeholders in the automotive industry. The federal government has pledged to expedite the passage of a legislative bill to boost the local automotive industry. Dr. Zuka Aneti praised indigenous automobile assemblers for their contribution to the economy, but urged them to prioritize after-sales support service to remain competitive. She said government will patronize only auto assemblers with robust after-sales service, emphasizing its importance in increasing the preference for locally assembled vehicles by government agencies. Do we have the local capacity to produce our own vehicles? We don't mind. I mean, we said 40%. We can start with 10%. We don't mind. But we want to have a skin in the game. We want to ensure that when you buy a made in Nigerian car, there is a made in Nigerian raw material that is powering that car. And can we even develop the capacity to service the local economy before we even talk about export? That way, we are conserving FX, we are creating jobs, and we are industrializing. There's technology transfer, there's skill acquisition, the youth are busy and insecurity is dropping, earning power is going up, and the economy is rebooted. So, and the answer to that was yes. And then we said, okay, now we're ready to roll out. And that's what you're seeing. And um, I want to encourage Triple AM, you're here. You've seen what we have. Maybe you haven't seen so much, because the chairman said he wants to take you on a tour. You want to come and see exactly what we have on ground. What you've seen is what we are seeing. So you're hearing what we are saying. You're, you're looking at all of us with the passion and the commitment to make this country work, to make the automotive sector work. Director General of the National Automotive Design and Development Council, Oluwe Mimo Oshanikpe, says the aim is to align local policies with the African continental free trade area to enable the industry to compete favorably on a continental and global level. The industry can contribute a lot more to the economy. We can do that by developing the local content and ensure that we produce more, we can employ more. And since we've started this journey, we've seen the commitment of all the stakeholders, we've seen people coming together, and you can see the manifestation now. The, the people, uh, our partners, the Triple AM, they are here because they've seen what we are doing. They've seen what we are doing differently, and they've seen the commitment of this current administration. So. This give us joy and give us assurance again and encourage us to do more. We are going to do more in the area of training. We are going to do more in the area of pushing for the implementation of uh, NIDP. We are going to do more in the area of ensuring that we increase the number or the percentage of local content in our, in our vehicles. Stakeholders in the industry express confidence that the automotive industry in Nigeria will improve if there is more patronage from government and its agencies. There's a the company manufacturer, there's motor manufacturer, the assemblers. All of us are here today. So when we, when, when all of us collaborate and work together, I believe that's work forward to this nation. A patronage by the government policies, right policies, implementation, supporting the local industry is critical for the growth of the manufacturing sector. We are the largest electric vehicle manufacturing company in Nigeria, but the only way we can grow to where we want to grow is through government patronage. Every single company in the world that makes vehicles is patronized by their local government. If you look at Tesla, Tesla, Tesla's biggest patronage comes from the U.S. government, from people like NASA. We're encouraging government to patronize those who are producing vehicles locally, who have local vehicle brands, who want to project Nigerians and create jobs locally. So interfaces like this will make government be aware of the challenges, will make government set the right policies, the right investment. We have Senate that buys hundreds of cars every cycle, but most of their procurement is not done within Nigeria or within the local manufacturing companies. The team later met with the chief of staff to the president, Femi Bajabi Amila, who received the delegation from the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers and the Nigerian Automotive Manufacturers Association and affirm federal government's commitment to accelerating legislative process to aid the automotive industry.